What if I told you that you could make an eye out of two forms? Let's get started. So you want to be able to draw an eye out of two forms. What you should do is making one of these, taking it, you have the middle there and the middle there, taking it here. That's where you should have the line. So we are taking it right down and here. Same on the other side, we should do it. And we are taking it from here and making it go up. So we're getting the circle. Well, well, mother, mother. We already have the half of the eye. So now we are taking it a bit down here and just making it go up. And uh, we are going to erase the rest of the lines. So now we have erased the lines. You can use this side here as the start of the eye, this side of the eye and, and all this. But because we have a mo bit more sharp place here, we are going to use this side here as this side of the eye. And it's more straight like that. So with the, the, the shape of the eyes, if you don't want to make the box, it's like you're having this light, the sharp line here, and you're having the, the bow, and then a bit more down, and you're having the bow on the, under the eye. You could, of course, do that, but I'm doing it so as simple as for the, the new people that are starting to draw and can even follow. And we are closing the eyes here. Because I didn't get a lot more line here, I'm going to erase this and just doing it a bit better. You can always do that if you don't are uh, happy about your resource, how it's turned out for you. So we're having the eye here. We On here, we are going to make a little dot because it's where the... The, the tear channels are, I think it's called. We are making it like here. This the rainbow of the eye. If you want it more realistic, you should not make it that big here as I'm doing. You probably more should do it if you want not a child eye, just at a round circle inside the eye. But it's not what we are doing here. We are doing it more animated style. So we have the eye line here we are going to switch it around to see our mistakes i can see i want it a bit more down there and actually i can see my mistake is here so i have to do it make it a bit more round i'm turning it back again and it's looking okay it's not the best but it's looking okay so right now we can turn the paper if you are drawing it on hand you can also draw it on hand this way also we are taking a bit more thickness and making the eye line, the, the hair on the eye. I don't know what it's called right now. And we also have eyes down the side here, but we don't have to draw it all in. Uh, there we go. I'm going to switch it around again, and we are going to draw the eyelashes. If you want it more anime styled eyelashes, you should go more for this way here. A bit more thickness and like free outside so if we are doing it a bit more animate styled you can also choose to take the last one here and let's take a little starter here so like that and now we are going to place the one on multiplayer and just just take it and making a new layer we are taking a base color there we go making a new layer and making sure that they cannot be um, be drawing in over. We are taking an airbrush and making some shadows for the eye. It's around the halfway down on the eye. But we are also taking a one that is a bit more dark to make the purple. And we are taking to make the where the eye uh, thing are and just pulling it there over the eye. So because we need to have it a bit more darker because it's giving the shadow over the eye. Taking a new layer, uh, making the same thing again. Now we are just going to place it under the eye. So we are doing it like this. So it's getting a bit more lighter and we are erasing small dots of the lightning because it's making it a bit more detailed. Always making sure it's going to be roundish if you are in the sides of the eyes, just giving it more details. Because I was so good and hitting it in here in the um, pupil, I'm going to erase it out of there. So we should also 
go back in the first layer we had, or you can take the, the, the same layer we was on, or even making a whole new layer. And we are giving the eye a bit darker circle. It um, doesn't matter which dark blues you are taking about, you're taking the most darkest or the second darkest. It just should have the little black line around the eye. You can also also always doing it when you are using the, the dark colors. I just forgot that. So now we have the base of the eye and oh, not the base. Now we have the fully eye. We are just going now to take a bit uh, to make a bit of highlight and we are using a hard brush here. You should, you should never place it up here, uh, like the, the highlight there. It's looking cute, yeah, but it is in the shadow line. So you should place it a bit more like here. And we can place another one over here. And maybe one there. It's to make it more cute. And we are taking a, making a new layer under. And we are doing the same just under the pupil. So we are doing it like this. And with this one, you we are going to take it down. So it's giving it more pre-digital colors. Right now you are going to get under the dark, um, the color in the eye. And taking a right color and making it a bit more brownish. Not too brown, not too, too white. And just taking the outside, the right in the eye. Now we have the the light, the gray, light gray. You are making a new layer and taking it over the one, the base color here you have. And I can see I need to give this a bit more base color. You, if you are having the same mistake as I do right now, you are just going to take the base color layer and just giving it the more base color color and just painting over because the the colors you have taken over um over it it will automatically be on the same so if we are taking it off we can see a bit more our mistake so we are going to back to the the white layer and taking the same color just making it a bit more brownish in the still in the brownish now you are take we are taking our airbrush and just following it down so it's giving the shadow in the eye too and what i'm using to do used to do is to blur it a bit out so it's actually fitting more into the eye now we are going to take a layer under the right layer again taking it into the more pink side we are coloring it like that and we are taking a more reddish color you can also, of course, place that underneath it all again and place it in here. Maybe it was a bit too dark. So we are just right now following it over. Yeah, that was better. So we are having it here. So now we have the eye. And you can always just over the, the color here you have. You can always just get the lightning down and just make it like this, like coloring it up line it up and because we already have the skin color i would suggest you are doing it a bit more down here so it's actually uh giving the eye line the eye a bit more realistic i suggest you are using the more brown dark color so you can can place a bit of hair down here. Always do it on this one and just make it bent. So actually this, the first one I made here was wrong. So we have to bend them a bit. But yeah, then we are just taking it over here. Place it down here. So it's a bit still a bit more over in the animate side, but it can work in the natural. It's still in over in the cat cartoon ways. But if we are closing this up, always just also just put it down here because it's it's there it should be down so we are taking it in so now it when we have to get it put in we are just going to color it and because i can see there is some mistakes we are going to fix it with the just 
painting it over. You can never actually be fully sure on uh, what you are doing with it when you are taking it like I just did. Maybe you have to do it a bit more, work a bit more in it. And I, I can see here that I actually have to make some more into this. So I'm just putting a bit more line in here so it's actually looking like it's ha having the, the eye line right just so now we actually can take all guidelines off and now we have it a realistic or a more animated like, like styled eye and it's the most easiest way for people that want to start off on, on drawing and just struggling with eyes. So I hope you liked um, my tutorial and uh, I hope I see you again next time. I also make Sims videos if you are interested in that. And um, I also stream on Twitch sometimes, so um, there, there is more ads time. <laughs> but um, yeah, I hope I see you again next time. Bye guys.